Hockey manager Alex Cora and several players opted out of going. Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Wright joins us live now from Washington, D.C. Morgan. That's right, guys. It's tradition for the World Series champs to visit the White House. The Boston Red Sox did so today for celebration with President Trump, but not every member of the team is sticking with tradition. Take a look. The Boston Red Sox, very special group of people. On the south lawn of the White House, President Trump honored the Boston Red Sox for winning their ninth World Series title. And the Red Sox were Frankly, they were unstoppable. Last year, the Red Sox had the best record in Major League Baseball and beat the Los Angeles Dodgers to win the series in five games. Boston battled through great pitching matchups against the Dodgers ace Clayton Kershaw and even a marathon game three, the only Red Sox loss of the series that lasted 18 innings. You knew it was in reach and you didn't want to do anything to blow it. The bat of World Series MVP Steve Pierce and the lights out pitching of Chris Sale sealed the series for Boston. Uh, this is a very high honor. It's something that um, we appreciate very highly. J.D. Martinez joked with the president about being a Yankees fan. And I know celebrating a Red Sox victory is tough for you given that you're a Yankee fan and all. <laughs> Noticeably missing from the White House was Red Sox manager Alex Cora. He said he didn't feel comfortable celebrating in the White House while people in his native Puerto Rico are still struggling to recover from Hurricane Maria. The president has been fighting Democrats over sending more federal disaster aid to Puerto Rico, and he told reporters earlier in the day. Puerto Rico got $91 billion, so I think the poor people of Puerto Rico should really like President Trump. But back on the South Lawn, it was a celebration of the Red Sox sweet 2018 season. And guys, the Red Sox have gotten off to a slow start this season, so they've got their work cut out for them to get back to the team that we saw last year that dazzled us all. Reporting live in Washington, I'm Morgan Wright. Back to you. Thank you, Morgan. And there's more coverage you can count on on Eyewitness News at 6. Three suspects facing dozens of new charges for a